Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm over here with Dr. Robert Pfeiffer from Brooks Eye Centre. Look, you never know what's going on with the eye and what nerves it has or what are the conditions from your health that affect your vision. Today we're talking all about swollen optic nerves. Welcome to the show, hey, my friend. Hey, good to see you again. Okay, again, another great conversation. Appreciate it when you come and you always give us great yeah. information. Um, swollen optic nerves, what is that? A swollen optic nerve is a condition of the back of the eye that when the optic nerve it tends to swell and there's a lot of different reasons why the nerve will swell. Um, sometimes you may not even know that your nerve is swollen and that's, yeah. so pe most people have no clue that they have this issue going on. Well what's causing it and how do we know we have it? There's a lot of different reasons why the nerve may swell. We could talk probably for an hour on different conditions that may cause it. You got it. three more minutes. I got three minutes, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> It could be from an autoimmune condition. Multiple sclerosis is a really? common one that people um, will have a swollen nerve with. There's another condition called sarcoidosis that is an autoimmune condition that people will see swollen nerves with. One of the most, uh, diabetes can cause it. High blood pressure can cause it. One of the main reasons why we see swollen nerves in Columbus, from my experience, is the pressure in the brain is too high. And it causes that nerve to kind of pouch out a little bit or swell. We call that condition pseudotumor cerebri. And what that stands for, the Greek breakdown of it is false tumor of the brain. The reason why we call it a false tumor Sounds is because scary. It does sound scary. <laughs> but um, this is, if you had to have a swollen nerve, this is probably one of the reasons why you would want to because we can treat it and we can get the swelling to go down pretty fast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, when you say treatments, let's talk about that for a moment. Yeah. And you, you brought up a fact just then that you said a lot of people here in Columbus. We see why, a lot why, of swollen why? nerves. Is it because Columbus are highly intelligent? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, well, um, some, the, the main treatment is weight loss. If you've, if you've got oh. swollen nerves from pseudotumor cerebri, you want to lose weight. That's the main thing I'm telling my patients. You've got to start exercising. You've got to start dieting and lose weight. Right. Um, Another um, treatment is that we'll actually put them on a medication called Diamox, which is kind of a fluid pill, if you will, and it gets the pressure down in the brain. And typically a neurologist will start that medication for them. All right, so, well, obviously they're nerves of the eye, correct? Correct. Is, which is what you just yes. explained to me. So when we're going in for our normal checkup, is that something that you're looking for? Every, yes. Oh. Every patient that walks through our door will have their nerves assessed. Okay, well, how often should one be doing this? Every year. Every year. Okay. Yeah. Treatments. So the treatments. Surgery? Uh, very rarely, but you can do a decompressive surgery. Okay. Um, pr prior to treatment, so which is something we need to hit on, is diagnostics. Um, I think, you know, when we do see someone with a swollen nerve, we're sending them out for an MRI. Oh. We've got to get an, an MRI first wow. because we want to make sure that there's nothing else going on like a true tumor because tumors can cause swollen nerves. Um, knock on wood, never seen yeah. a swollen nerve from a tumor. They're not very common. Um, and after the MRI, what we do is we do a lumbar puncture. The lumbar puncture actually checks the pressure in the brain to say, is this pressure too high? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've got the diagnosis and we can start treatment with Diamox right. at that point. Well, I have to tell everyone at home, you know, you see me doing all these interviews and I go from a lot of TV stations and the information that I gather from doing these interviews, is, who would ever have thought that the I can say so much uh, about you, our body I and know, our health, it's, right? It's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's, it's really quite an amazing part of our body. Mm -hmm. it, you must love working oh, I do. I'm every very day with the about it. Yeah. It comes across. We appreciate it. you. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. If you want to find out more information about Dr. Robert Pfeiffer, there it all is up on the screen. As you can see, he is highly incredible and intelligent when it comes to eyes. There it all is for you, everyone. Brooks Eye Center, back after this short break.